Welcome back, everyone, to Ferris State basketball coverage here at Jim Wick Arena. Rob Bentley and Sandy Golston with you. Joined now by the head coach of the Ferris State Bulldogs, Andy Brockema, after a 105-55 win over Olivet here tonight. And coach, got to be pleased with uh, the way your guys played and competed here tonight. I, I was. I thought we played really hard, and we were in our system for long periods of time. So we, we broke out of it, obviously, a little bit. It's a game of mistakes, but there was some accountability today, and that's a good place to start. Obviously, uh, you have to start with Walt Kelser. Talk about uh, his performance here tonight, 38 points to lead the way, and uh, obviously uh, was able to knock down a bunch of shots for you early on. Yeah, he's going to have a few of those. He had a bunch of them last year. Uh, a little disappointed that he's not on some of the preseason All-American list. I think he's that type of player. And, uh, you know, the, the thing is, if you devote enough resources to him, you know, you can slow him down. So we want to win games when he scores eight, nine points, and he's facilitating, and he's being a threat, and he's being aggressive. So we got to win him both ways. I think we're going to do that. He's, uh, he's an impressive player. How much did it help uh, your team having him, uh, along with Michael Peterson, Deng Rang back on the floor here tonight? Well, it's a little bit of experience. Um, but we... Listen, I think we're we're probably missing the point. It was so good to be out here today. There's not there's a ton of teams sitting at home, not being able to play. I mean, the job that Ferris has done, the department, our our community, our school, just to get us on the floor, has been refreshing. And uh, you know, it makes you want to work hard, makes you proud to be the coach here. And uh, we're lucky to play today. And it took a lot of effort just to get on the floor. I mean, we've had two practices in the last 17 days, so it just there's a lot of perspective available if you want it right now. Obviously, uh, you got this game uh, kind of going at your pace. Uh, the style you, you guys like to play uh, really got up and down, and we're able to finish in transition. Yeah, it was good. I thought it was a structured break, and, you know, that's their, that's their pace too. So it's year two um, for Coach Hargraves at, at Olivet, and, uh, you know, they play with that pace. and. I was pretty happy that we were able to pressure and still fortify on defense. That was a good sign, and uh, it was just it was good to be on the floor. So and we get to figure out a few things, watch the film, make some adjustments, um, look at a few things, and then we're back at it tomorrow. How uh, different is that going to be playing uh, the same team back-to-back -back days? Uh, something that uh, I know you guys haven't uh, done in the past. Well, we did it against Mercyhurst. Gotcha. You did. So we're going to have to get used to it, and we're developing best practices. We're seeing what we like to do. Um, the last time we were in a junior college with a projector on the cement block wall in a dorm room uh, watching the film making adjustments so that was quite a story and uh, this time we'll, we'll watch and we'll figure out what it's like to play back to back and you know see what we can do and see what Sam decides to do and you know he played a lot more man today than, than I thought he would he's 100% zone against Central and Eastern and they mixed it in there at the end but yeah, that's that's the schedule we're dealing with, and uh, we're, we're up for the challenge. How excited were you guys just to not only be on the floor, but be on their home floor here and uh, playing in the, in this gym? Well, I think we had two per two tickets per person, and there was the crew did a great job of setting it up. Um, we got good space here to follow all the rules, but you know, 64 people. It was it was decent. It was kind of fun to have a few fans here. So if we can get you know, if we can get to that 350 mark, uh, I think we'll still have an advantage in Wink Arena, and uh, we'll have some fans here. And I know the people that were here were real excited to be able to to get those tickets, and you know we're we're thankful for them. So hopefully we see a few of those uh, cutouts come in, and uh, we'll we'll have them here in spirit. Well, coach, congratulations on the win, and uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow night. All right, guys, thanks. Well